Hello, my name is Ikalo Herod, and this is the Future Fiction Factory. And today we are going over one of the plugins inside of Pseudorite. I had a chance to play around with it earlier in my live stream, so I thought I'd bring you in for the ride. All right, so here we are inside of Pseudorite. Okay. And I've already run the plugin and everything, but the plugin we're using today is called, as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna go to the ones I've added. And right over here is characters prompt the author. What is this? Well, why don't I just read it right from the horse's mouth? Highlight and a scene in a document, and this plugin will simulate a character in the scene. And this character will talk to the author to help unblock them to continue the scene. All right, so say you are in the middle of something that you're writing and you want some assistance from the AI, but you don't necessarily want it to be blatant assistance from the AI. You want it from a different perspective. Maybe you want it from the character's perspective. Okay, so if that's the case, then this character, this particular plugin acts as if it's a improvisational actor and it cues you and asks you questions inside of its response to you. It gives you a couple of cards. As a matter of fact, I think I can change that somewhere, but I don't know exactly where. One day I'll figure that out. But you use its a knowledge of itself to kind of give you some questions that you might be able to bounce off and a different part of the scene. Uh, later on in the scene, you it could inform you about something that you wanted to do. You were like, I didn't know where I was going to go with that, but now you do because this gives you a little bit of insight into it. All right, so what did I do? What did I do? I went, let's see, let's zoom out. Go back into jump box. And we will look at the character. So this is what I did. I went right here. Heavy thud. Uh, pulling on a t-shirt. Is this? Yes. Heart thudded. All right. So here we are. This is what I highlighted, right? This stuff right in here. This, all of this stuff right there in the middle, right there. And I had it inform me. It, uh, so here's what I highlighted. Rebecca's heart pounded like a war drum as she arrived at the dimly lit lab, her eyes immediately catching a sight of Emily's vehicle skidding into the parking lot. The squeal of rubber on, a, on asphalt cut through the stillness of the night, reverberating in the cold air. As Emily's car door flung open, Rebecca darted over, her breath ragged and uneven. General Abrams has gone rogue. Rebecca blurted out her words, cascading out of a rapid flurry, echoing the echoing the chaotic rhythm of her heart. And with that, it responded like this. It's pretty cool, actually. Whew, author, I've got to tell you, my heart's racing a mile a minute. Can't you hear it? Feels like it just will burst out of my chest at any moment. It's just the shock of seeing Emily and dropping that bombshell about General Abrams. Their trust, if I'm honest. I've ha uh, had always been a thin sheet of ice under my feet. But to think they've gone full rogue now? That's enough to shake anyone up. Now, your role in this whole mess. What was it exactly that pushed Abrams over the edge? What else know, Who else knows about their rebellion and what could 
be their possible motives? Are there allies or just more enemies lurking in the shadows? And Emily, how much does she know? She's always better informed than she lets on. And that is, and it just continues to go on and on and on. And then it gave me the second card, which took a completely different approach to the way that it responded to me, as if it was two different actors. It's pretty slick. My, let's see here. My heart's still racing, and there's a dull taste of metallic fear in the back of my throat. I'm imagining General Abrams' face. I've always admired him, respected his rigid discipline and devotion to duty, but now my mind swirls with questions. Why? How? Why? Has he been planning this? Uh, has he been planning this for so long? I feel an icy cold clutching at my stomach as I consider the implications. What does this mean for our mission, for Emily and me? More importantly, how many lives could be at stake if we don't handle this right? But then again, are we even equipped to deal with this situation? Author, I need to know what led Abrams down this path. Was there any sign we missed that we missed? Were there any events that might have caused him to turn rogue? <laughs> that is character. Let's see here. That is the plugin characters prompt the actor. Very, very simple, easy prompt that a uh, simple easy plugin actually that really gives you a like insight into maybe what's coming next some things that you might want to ask inside of the whole chapter some things that add meat to the bone my name is Ikello Herod this has been the future fiction factory check out that particular one and remember they're still in beta so you can't just be all mad if it doesn't work right for you. <laughs> They're still in beta over there at the plugins in Pseudorite. Sign up for the list. I'll have a link in the description. Sign up for a list uh, to, so you can get on the list and get into plugins. I'll see you in the next video.